So hello and welcome, my name is Carl and this is Just The Way It Is. And today we're at episode five of our series all about this quite wonderful R1250 GS. Now this is an episode I was not expecting to make. Um, this is about problems and a warranty claim, specifically with the brakes on the front of this bike. So that was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting this so early on with effectively a brand new bike that I've got on test. Um, but we need to cover it in, in different segments. So to make it easy to follow along, I'm gonna break it into three parts. So the first part is gonna be the problem itself, and I'll explain some of the technical elements and the, the different things that go wrong with the calipers, the haze calipers on the front of the bike. And then in section two, I'm gonna share with you my experience uh, with going back to a BMW dealership and the warranty claim process and how that was all handled. And there's a couple of tips and a little bit of information about the different types of dealership because this might affect how your warranty claim is processed. So I need to explain that. And then at the very end, which I haven't got round to filming because the bike's not being back, it goes in in a couple of days. Um, I know they're gonna replace the calipers, but what they're going to fit, we won't know until the, I do the last part of this video so we'll have a look and see what they've actually fitted. Uh, and then there's some hints and tips on how you can check your brakes and make sure yours are working exactly as they should be. So let's start at the very beginning. Let's start with the problem itself. I need to explain two different elements. So um, in 2017, summer in 2017, uh, BMW decided that they were going to kind of separate a little bit with Brembo in terms of their main supplier for the front brakes on all of their bikes. And they introduced for 2018 a new manufacturer, which is the American firm Hayes. Now the brakes themselves perform really well. There's nothing wrong with the performance of the Hayes brakes. They are very, very similar to the Brembo. I think ultimately, possibly, the Brembo is still slightly better, but the Hayes performed really well. This is not a performance race bike. Uh, and although if you go back and look at my R1250 um, R series, I could tell a difference, albeit very small, between the Hayes and the Brembo, and my preferred choice for that particular bike would most definitely, if I was gonna buy one, to find a bike with Brembo calipers. However, this is something different. This is not a sports bike. You can't go as fast as you can on an R1250R. Um, you're limited, with the, certainly with these tires on it, how far you can push these bikes in terms of brakes. And for me, I don't find any problem these calipers, these haze calipers work superb and they're more than up to the job of stopping a quite heavy bike very, very well. However, the Brembo caliper is manufactured from one piece. So it's one piece of uh, one lump of aluminium that is molded into the shape of the caliper. Now, the caliper itself only has two points where it can leak fluid. If you imagine this is the caliper and this is the brake fluid line, this connection here is one point. Very, very rare, and it doesn't happen very often. So this is one place where it can leak. The second possible place for a caliper to leak is inside the caliper itself, there are four pistons that move in and out, pushing the brake pad against the brake disc to create friction and slow the bike down. Now those four pistons, they have one big seal on each of those pistons, and that has another potential place where fluid can leak out. However, with the Brembo brakes, I've never seen this. Uh, and it's very rare because manufacturing tolerances are very good these days. It's very rare to see that sort of problem. But they are the two potential places where fluid can leak out of a caliper. Now the Hayes caliper is slightly different and they've introduced in their manufacturing or their design of their caliper a third potential problem. And I don't quite understand why they've done this. Um, with the Hayes caliper, it's actually made from two different parts. So those two parts are then bolted, yes, bolted together, and in between those two, there is a gasket or a seal that prevents fluid from leaking out. So just to be, just to be clear, the Brembo caliper is made from one complete piece of aluminium. The Hayes caliper is made from two separate parts, which are then bolted, to, bolted together but you now have this third element, which is this join between these two halves. And this is what I've experienced on this bike. Now, very early on in 2018, um, there were quite a lot of reports that brand new bikes were leaking brake fluid in the BMW showrooms. And that is a different problem 
to what I've experienced on this bike. So if we go back to those four pistons that are moving in and out and clamping the pads onto the discs, there is these two, there are four seals, one on each piston. And with the haze calipers, my understanding is that there was a problem with the assembly of these calipers uh, and they're actually leaking brake fluid from those seals. And that brake fluid was dripping onto the showroom floors or onto the wheels of the motorbike. So BMW did a recall. Uh, they replaced, I don't know how many, nobody will tell me how many have been replaced, but a lot of calipers were replaced under warranty and during this recall. So that was 2018 through to 2019. But still through 2019, people were reporting problems with the calipers leaking. So it wasn't the problem with these piston seals, it was now a problem with these two halves of the caliper, the haze caliper, being joined together and, uh, um, and something, some problem with the mating surfaces and that gasket or seal in between those two halves. So mm, they've had a bit of a rough time, I think, Hazab, with this particular problem. So that's what I've experienced. The, the join between the two halves, there's a leak in between there, and I'm gonna show you in a moment some pictures and explain it in a bit more detail. So hopefully you can now see, um, although I've cleaned this bike thoroughly just last weekend, and I've only done 200 kilometers since I've cleaned it, you can see if you follow this line down the center of the caliper, this is the seam, the joining point between the left-hand side and the right hand side of the caliper. And there is a gasket, or we should call it really a seal, between these two halves. Now on the Brembo calipers, there is no seam because the calipers are made from one complete piece of aluminium. With the Hayes calipers, these are in two separate parts. If you look at the bottom here, you can clearly see where the brake fluid, even after 200 clear kilometers after cleaning, it's leaking brake fluid. And this is not right. This is not how they should be. And if you look carefully, you can still see a damp, wet mark along this complete seam. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you so that you can have a look and see uh, for your bike, you can check and make sure whether you've got any fluid leaking along this seam, along the length, top to bottom of your caliber. Check your left hand side and check your right hand side and there should be nothing, not even the slightest bit of leaking at all along this seam. So I thought by the time the 2021 update came out that this problem had been removed completely because this must have been a huge embarrassment for Mr. BMW in terms of their customers having to go back and have warranty claims and a commercial disaster for Hayes, the manufacturer of the calipers. They've now got a new contract with a premium manufacturer of a, of a, of a premium motorbike and their products are faulty from day one. So I'd imagine both parties were not very happy with this. But I thought this had been resolved. But clearly, here we are in 2022 on a brand new bike and we've still got a problem with leaking calipers. So I can only imagine, as this is a 2022 specification bike, it was built in 21. But where those parts came from during the assembly of this bike, I just don't know. And the only person that's going to know that is Mr. BMW. So these calipers that are leaking may well have been manufactured or from a manufacture date much earlier in the assembly process. So the calipers might have come from a 2019 or a 2020 manufacturing batch and then were fitted to the bike in 2021 and so on. So that's the only thing I can think of as how these calipers ended up on this bike still leaking. But you're going to need to check your bikes. Even the brand new bikes that are out right now, you need to check and just make sure. So let's move along. So as to the warranty process itself, a couple of things you need to know. First is what are what are reasonable expectations of you, the customer, from your BMW dealer. So your dealer is obliged to replace like for like. That's the obligation and that's what they're going to fulfill. So you can't go in demanding Brembo calipers to be fitted to your bike if it's currently got haze calipers on it. That's not going to work. <laughs> um, there are different types of dealership. There are dealers that, um, that have a, a much firmer connection to BMW and they have much stricter, more stringent protocols and procedures and it's a lot more difficult to make any changes in warranty claims with that type of uh, partnership. With a more privately owned uh, dealership, there might be a little bit more uh, waggle room, a little bit more room for negotiation, but you just have to see and speak to your individual dealer. But the obligation 
from BMW to you, the customer, is to replace like for like. Now, the only slight hiccup in there, um, it depends on what's available in stock. So if you go to a private dealer um, and they don't have any stock, they're gonna have to order some calipers in. And it depends where those calipers come from and it depends on whether they receive in their order Hayes calipers or Brembo calipers. And that's what's going to be fitted to your bike. So if you go to your dealer and they have in stock Hayes calipers, they're going to fit Hayes calipers to your bike. If you go in and they don't have Hayes, but they have Brembo calipers sitting on the shelf, the likelihood is that they're going to fit Brembo calipers to your bike. But you can't choose. This is the thing I'm trying to explain to you. Um, there might be some odd, odd cases where you might have purchased a motorbike every couple of years for the last 20 years, and you might have a bit more leeway and pressure with your dealership or a room for maneuver, and you may be able to get something special. But generally, you need to understand that the process is that they will fit like for like. So as to the warranty claim itself, you might be thinking, well, if I've got leaking calipers, I'm gonna demand Brembo's. Well, just be careful. The Hayes caliper and the Brembo caliper um, they're very similar in terms of their ultimate stopping performance, um, but their characteristics are very slightly different. And this might be part of the reason why BMW have moved to the Hayes caliper for the GS. And let me try and explain this. The Hayes caliper, the, the travel or the distance the lever moves before the brakes actuate or they start to work is very short a centimeter, that's really all you're gonna get. After about a centimeter, you're on full brakes and the bike is stopping fast. Now with the Brembo caliper, the travel at the lever is a little bit more further. It travels more before it starts to bite and dig in and create that uh, friction and slow you down. So for a more experienced rider, uh, the feel of the Brembo caliper is probably better and more to what they're used to. But for a, um, a, not so much a beginner, but someone that just rides normally, traffic speed plus 20, 30%, someone that goes on tour, the type of person that might buy the GS, the Hayes caliper is actually very good. And I don't find any lack of performance whatsoever from the Hayes caliper. I might like and I might enjoy a bit more, a bit more feel from the Brembo caliper, but currently with these tires on here, with these 80, 20 or 90, 10 um, off-road road tires, I can't tell any difference and I can't push any harder than I already am and I'm not going to. But so I think the haze calipers are absolutely fine. So it depends on your what type of rider you are, how much experience you've got, but just be careful. If you go in demanding Brembos and they fit them, then you're gonna have quite a bit of travel at the lever, which you're gonna have to adjust to. Um, so I hope that helps. In the, in the last part of this, I would have been back and we'll see what they fit. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. So here we are, yesterday I returned from BMW, the warranty work's been completed. So let me tell you a little bit about the experience of what they've actually fitted. So the first thing is the team that's looked after me, which is the parts department and the service department have been superb. I'm an Englishman living in Germany. I can speak German, but my German's not perfect. And especially when we get onto the more technical elements, um, there is a quite a lot I don't understand. So the parts manager, at the dealer that I've been to speaks wonderful English. Uh, and so I've been very grateful for his help being an intermediary with the service department, just so that I understand the whole process and that the technical questions that I had along that process have been answered. So between them, the two teams have done a great job. So as a, a manufacturer of a premium motorcycle, BMW, your expectations should be fairly similar. Um, you should be looked after in a super way, very professional, and you shouldn't have any problems along your process if you have a warranty claim. So what have they fitted? Well, they've actually fitted Brembo calipers, which was a bit of a surprise because as I explained earlier on in the episode, BMW's obligation to you as a customer is to fit like for like. But depending on what's available in terms of stock, whether the dealership has calipers in stock, when you go in with your question, they'll fit what they have in stock. If they don't have them in stock and they have to bring them in, they have to order them, and in which case they might come as Brembo calipers. And I don't think you should be disappointed uh, either way, whether they fit the Hayes caliper or the Brembo caliper. 
These, this bike has been fitted with the Haze from day one. I've done over 2,000 kilometers now, and at no point have I been wanting more from braking performance. The brakes with the Haze calipers have been absolutely superb. So I wasn't particularly bothered either way, whichever one they would fit. Um, with the, um, the Brembo calipers, I now have an opportunity to do an additional test, which I didn't thought I would have when I started this long-term test, and that is now I can do a comparison, a direct comparison, between the first 2,000 kilometers with the Haze calipers, and as time moves on, I can come back and tell you later on what it's like with the Brembo calipers. Now, with the Brembo calipers, it just so happens with my Multistrada, I've been used to Brembo calipers, and I've been used to more travel on that brake lever, and that's <coughs> something that I personally like. Um, but I think it's not gonna make a lot of difference to you as a consumer, to you as an, a customer of a BMW dealership, which ones they fit. So overall, I've been very pleased. They've looked after me really well. The bike's been fixed. While I was there, uh, this is quite interesting, um, I got the chance to take out a bike on a road test because the bike had to be in the workshop for a couple of hours. And it was there for the afternoon. So I took out a 2022 S1000 RR with the M package. I'll put a video link up in the top corner. Now that bike has the BMW branded Haze calipers. Now the S1000 RR is BMW's premium, pinnacle, tippy-toppy, high-performance motorbike, and that has Haze calipers. And they were simply stunning. The, the braking performance on that bike was phenomenal, absolutely incredible. So it's really clear that Haze do make fabulous brakes. And I think in this whole process, it's just been very unlucky for BMW as the manufacturer, a bit of an embarrassment, and for Hayes as a manufacturer of brakes, it's been a bit of a disaster with the GS, I would imagine, with their, their leaking problems. But I think as time moves forward, they're going to get better, there's going to have less problems, and as consumers, we can expect big things from Hayes. So thank you very much for your time. My name is Carl. This has been Just The Way It Is. And I'll see you very soon for another update on the R1250 GS. Thank you very much.